Thank you for joining us. And before we get started with today's video, if you guys like what you're seeing and hearing from the Locked On Senators podcast, go ahead and hit like, smash the subscribe button so you can be the first to know about Sens content. Now, we're going to be doing a ton of these prospect profiles. So if you agree this is someone the Sens should look at or steer clear, leave your comment below so we can hear from you. Now, we got 64 of these, so let's get into it. All right, Pilsy, back to the countdown we go. This is going to be a fun one. Coming in at number 21, it's the captain of the United States National Team Development Program, Rutger McGrory, and another elite name in the draft. Yeah, Rutger McGrory is definitely a great name. And this is a kid, Ross, who was... Cornhusker. Yeah, Cornhusker, yeah, from Nebraska. He, it, like, he really seems like the kind of guy that eats, sleeps, and breathes hockey. Like, if you haven't had a chance, go to The Athletic, read Scott Wheeler's article on him growing up. His dad played in the ECHL for quite a while, and then his dad had a great, and I think he's still coaching, uh, actually, in, with uh, the Muskegon Lumberjacks, I think. Is, is that their name, the Lumberjacks? Yeah, I believe so. And his dad's Canadian, right? Yeah, his dad's Canadian, so... Big hockey guy and his Good dad. Good Ontario boy, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, yep. He is from Ontario. And his dad was a coach for the USHL team in Lincoln. So Rutger had access to the rink at all times. Like awesome. he like his dad quite literally had a key to the rink. <laughs> like yeah. not not figuratively, like had the key <laughs> to go whenever they wanted. And from uh, Wheeler's article, it said that's all Rutger did as a kid. All his buddies, they all just met at, I think I think the rink's called the Icebox, which that, yeah. is, that is hilarious. What a name for a rink in Nebraska. But let's get to where Rutger's at these days. He's a centerman play, playing at six foot one, 204 pounds. With the U.S. Uh, program, the U18 division, he had 54 games played, 35 goals, 34 assists, a dual shoot pass threat option, and 65 PIMs. And wouldn't you know it, Ross, he's committed to the University of Michigan. They don't rebuild, they reload at Michigan as well. And Rucker McGrory is a power forward, but he plays with so much skill. And that skill impressed Chris Peters to the extent that he's 13th on his list. Now, Tony Ferrari doesn't even have him in his top 32. So we're back at wow. the big ranges, Pilsy. Um, who else we got here up a little higher? Scott Wheeler at 15. Corey Pronman at 21. Craig Button at 25. Bob McKenzie at 26. And elite prospects down at 40 on their list. And we can already know why, why that is. <laughs> the average rank is 23 .33. And I'm going to start with elite prospects and we'll kind of build for Rutger McGrory. This guy, by the way, <laughs> go look at his highlight reel. Not only does he hit guy, or sorry, not only does he shoot like, like an elite shot in that one timer position, he's great in front of the net. He blows guys up. There was a clip that Derek Lee showed uh, on the Future Watch podcast where it was a red versus uh, blue game or white versus blue game for the US. So he's going up against his teammates and he unloaded on Logan Cooley in the middle of the ice. So you don't often see guys with that killer instinct going up against their own teammates, but that's not McGrory's game. This guy, he's a menace. He's a leader. He's everything that you'd want in a, in a prospect, except for the skating, which is where I get to elite prospects note on him. I was watching their uh, scouting meetings that you can find on YouTube. He plays as if he's a better skater than he is, is what they say. Like He's always trying to dipsy-doodle and make dynamic <laughs> plays, but sometimes his skating just doesn't allow it to happen, Pilsy. Yeah, and that's fair. Like that's typically what you see with power forwards, right? Where where the power is a is an advantage, the speed is a disadvantage, and that's gonna happen. But where I'm I don't really have red flags popping up here, Ross, is Rucker McGordy, this is a guy, like I mentioned, he spent a lot of time on the ice as a kid. And I just feel like he's going to figure that out. Like yeah. he's going to work so hard on his skating. He's going to have uh, off ice training. And his family moved around from like he played in Oakland, in Michigan. Uh, he played oh, uh, o Oakland. That caught me too because that's where Josh Norris played. Oakland is a sub suburb of Detroit. That got oh, me. Oh, okay. I, th I thought it was Oakland, uh, California. I know. Okay, that's I know. Fair, that caught me in a pickle. The Junior Bears or something there? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, yeah. It's it's Oakland, Michigan. I got I got in the same pretzel. 
Okay, sorry, my American geography isn't up to snuff, guys. Um, but Rucker well, McGrady I... couldn't even point to Ottawa on a map. I bet. <laughs> That's that's not good if you don't know the capital nation of uh, your neighboring country. But I bet most Americans don't. That's uh, that's another 100%. thing. Um, but th- what I'm trying to get at uh, before geography got in the way here is <laughs> his family put um, him in a position to succeed. They were like, we know you love hockey. We know uh, your your dad is a hockey mind. He's a great coach. We're going to invest our time and and probably a lot of money into getting you into the best programs. We're going to move around, all around the country. Whatever we have to do to support you, we will do. And that's why I love these, these prospects where I bet for not even a single second does Rutger McGordy have a plan B. This guy is going to be a hockey player through and through. And He's going to figure out that skating. And what that also allows Ross is he's going to, he's has great leadership. Like he was a captain for three different uh, teams. uh, A a couple of those teams in Michigan that I noticed in his earlier ages. And in Scott Wheeler's article, they mentioned that uh, typically the U S team names a captain and then they'll name another captain later. His teammates and coaches all were banging on the table saying no for this time. We're keeping it as Rucker McGordy here. He's such a good leader. He gets the boys fired up. He knows when to pipe in. And that comes from him being in the locker room of USHL teams. When he's like seven or eight years old, he said yeah. he would, as soon as he's done from school, he would just go to the rink and hang out in the locker room of these USHL teams. So he understands the game of hockey on and off the ice. Off ice? I see a lot of Jake Sanderson in him. This guy just yeah. eats, breathes, yep. sleeps hockey. I tweeted this out. On April 30th, when I started my deep dive into the NHL draft. If you're just listening, this is my tweet, at Ross Levitan on Twitter, taking my first real dive into the draft today, and I can already tell you that the Sens are going to select Rutger McGrory. And now when you hear this from Scott Wheeler, doesn't it make sense? McGrory, quote, is one of those kids who looks like a pro hockey player. If he walked into an NHL dressing room tomorrow, he would be stronger and broader than most of it. Then you add in the charisma, which made him the natural choice for captaincy at the U.S. program, and the light and energy that oozes out of him. And you have to be careful not to put too much stock in the off-ice pieces of the puzzle that already appear to be figured out. I feel like the Sens sometimes are a little guilty of that. But like I mentioned in the past episode, if if that's where they find a lot of strength and that's where they look at guys off ice, because you, I think sometimes people forget you're not just drafting prospects, you're drafting people. Like how are these people going to work out in your franchise and help your culture? And Rucker McGordy is a guy who I think will embody the sense culture and elevate it. Well, Wheeler then goes on and says, but I also think he's a darn good hockey player too. So that's there you go. Nice. Yeah, so, that's so it's not only it's not only the off ice. And Wheeler even goes on to say he's a better skater than he gets credit for. He's just awkward as heck when he does it. So I think that there is some merit to that. He's got a unbelievable finishing touch around the net. How many of those thirty five goals was he just kind of looking like a bit of bit of like Brady Kachuk in front of the net? Like he's able to make a quick move with good hands in tight. Like the closer he gets into the net, the better he is. And that's not to take anything away from his long range game. Cause I saw some Josh Norris shots from, mm-hmm. from the one timer position as well. Now, some of these scouts think he might translate better as a winger at the NHL level, which I wouldn't be against, but right now, like if you got that nose for the net as a centerman, like he'll probably be drafted as a center and maybe depending on how the, the first year goes at Michigan, we know that's a deep program, maybe gets shifted over to the wing there. Yeah. I see him as more of a winger Ross, just because, he has such a good shot. Like he's one. Like his shot reminds me a lot of Igor Sokolov. A heavy shot, but heavy. As Wheeler mentions uh, in his little write up too, he's really good at beating goalies in those good spots, Ross. Like as tendies, we know, like the like mid blocker, like just in between your blocker and your pads. Like that's a great one, and he's able to pick those spots from coming down the wing. I say this a lot. Rucker McGordy is the type of guy you want to have the puck on their stick on a two on one because. Yep. He can score on you with a quick shot, or if you cheat shot, he's going to pass it over to a teammate right on the tape, and they're going to tap it in backdoor. So, Rucker McCordy, I I see this guy as as a Sens type prospect. Like Trent Mann has him circled and underlined on his scouting list. But why wouldn't you? 
He's a March 30th birthday, 2004. He had seven, t- or sorry, seven assists and 11 goals in his last 10 games he played, plus 14 on that. He's already got the pro frame, pro build. He is an absolute menace. He, um, let's see the stats down here as we go. Like nine points in six games, eight goals in six games at the world under 18 wow. for Team USA. Like he just produces. That's That's what he does. Plus 54 at the program in 54 games this year, Pilsy. Like, he, he's a goal scorer. Look at this. His last year with the Oakland Grizzlies. 82 goals in 63 <laughs> games. Just absolutely comical uh, performance there. But I'm excited to see him at Michigan. I, I really yeah. think that's a good spot for him. I don't love Corey Proman's player comparable for him. He says Tyler Toffoli. I, I think that there's a little more power to uh, McGroarty's game. Maybe a little less finesse that we've seen out at the Foley over the years, but I think the production could be similar. Yep, definitely, definitely. Uh, it's, it's a dangerous game uh, comparing players based on their production rather than playing it style. Is. Let me tell you that it certainly is. How many stars do you have for Rucker McGroarty? I got Rucker McGroarty at four stars, Ross, because it's going to be very interesting to see where where he ends up in this draft. I wouldn't be. It's it's maybe a little bit of a of a stretch, but I would not be surprised if the Sens have this guy highlighted at seventh overall. Me neither. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised at all. But Pilsy, I'm going for it. Five stars. Woo! I'm going for it. I think this is my third five star guy, if not fourth. Yeah. I'd have to go back into the the books and, and figure it out. But five stars for Rucker McGordy. I think he just brings such a unique package that not a lot of guys have. Where it's a side speed, skill, physicality right now yeah the skating needs a little bit of work but i don't think it's such a detriment that he's going to falter at the next level because he can't keep up he like brady kachuk was looking like bambi the first year in the Mm -hmm. nhl i see i see a lot of similarities between these two guys bills yeah i really do maybe not to the same level obviously brady was a top five pick and i mean we're talking about maybe (laughs) mcgrady getting scooped up at seven is a bit of a reach but i think that he is going to be a perfect prospect to add to a to a group that's already pretty deep like imagine him on a line with uh with Ridley Gregg just just mesh around maybe even Tyler Boucher that's yeah. your third line down the road Ooh. oh there, boy there's a lot of physical attributes that we know the Senators love but don't let that distract you from the fact that Rucker McGroarty is just as skilled as he is tough 